uh, one of the things I think we, we, we hear quite a lot, and, and this is just going back, is that like most of the finance people in, you know, in, in the public accounting spaces or whatever in South Africa have like very little to no finance qualification. And this is one of the reasons that the skills, you know, are quite um, in demand. Is that a bit of an urban legend? You know, is that something that people are kind of saying as a, as a reason for some of the stuff that's going on? Or is that, is that pretty much kind of where we are? So, so I think, I mean, one thing that I always believe is really important if you're going to consider working in the public sector, or even if you're not, is to understand that, that there are, yes, some, some people who are not so, so good at their job working in the public sector. There's people who've used it for their own benefit. But there are, for every one person like that, there's at least 10 people who are trying their best to right. serve their country and make a difference. Right. Many of whom have, have, have training and, you know, exper- you know, academic qualifications, just not in accountancy, okay. but perhaps in, in public management or, or, or similar fields. So there's a lot of brilliant people working in government uh, who, who often don't get the accolades they should. They're not right. the ones who appear yeah. on the TV and so right. on. But, um, but a lot of people doing a lot of really great work <clears throat> on, the, on the public financial management side, the, the challenge really has just been that the people, the people who are in those positions typically don't have the sort of accountancy competencies okay. that we're exposed to okay. uh, through, through the CA qualification or, or, or similar qualifications. So it, it's, okay. it, the, 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 the challenge is really, and as part of what we're doing is saying, you know, there, there's a lot of people there who who actually, if we could just give them the skills they need, right. would be more yeah, able to be okay. more effective. Um, in fact, it's often not the skills, it's just the knowledge. So their right. skills are there. They're doing the work on a day-to-day yeah. basis. They know how to play in the space. It's just that they might not understand yeah. the cool okay. account. So that's quite different to sort of saying you've got a bunch of uneducated people in those yeah. spaces. Because that's kind of what it sounds like when you hear that. Yeah. But the reality is we're skilled in a whole bunch of stuff. We're missing a segment you know, we're kind yeah. of not necessarily as strong on the finance stuff because your yeah. background is, is other stuff. Because that, that, yeah. that is quite interesting. That being said, as, as, as you mentioned a few times, there is a definite need for, for mm. skills. So if you want to sure. go somewhere where your skills, it's like, you know, like yourself, where your skills can be used, um, then, you know, that's a good place to, to find yourself. That's a good place to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, you know, just think about it from the perspective of, of somebody who's working in government and needs to hire some people to help yep. them with the accounting function. Um, ultimately, they're going to take the best that they can find. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and in many cases, you know, your students, once they're qualified, will be in, you know, amongst the, the cream of the crop Absolutely. for those jobs. Yeah. So yeah. if they're not applying, someone else is going to get that. Right. Yeah. Um, and it becomes, I mean, it's very difficult to appoint somebody, um, you know, who doesn't have the right skill set when there was another person yeah, uh, of course. possibility. But in many yeah. cases, I think that just wasn't the case. Necessary um, case yeah. So, I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's certainly huge potential right. to play those roles.